Cons Podcast. Yo, 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 what's happening? What's happening? This Cons motherfucking podcast. You know what I'm saying? Back live and direct. Hope y'all enjoyed the last episode about the game and shit. Had my nigga Nate on there. So here go episode 72. You know what I'm saying? Got my nigga Nate again, aka That's Why Bruh Left, aka the motherfucking Unabomber. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got my nigga, got my nigga Brim on here. You feel me? I know y'all remember Brim for previous episodes of shit. Hell yeah. We just gonna touch on some topics and shit. You feel me? We already started talking about this uh Oculus wave that's taking flight right now in front of our faces. My nigga Nate um is a proud owner of that shit. Tell us what that shit like, Nate. It is finding a motherfucker and like it's gonna it's gonna open up it's gonna open up the world more than it already is because now instead of just typing and texting a motherfucker like, you really gonna feel like you right there but like you really be in a room motherfuckers be having meetings and motherfuckers they got like dating and shit going on on that motherfucker all type of shit but you know how this shit get when they you know right so that's lit and that shit through that's uh all through what facebook all through meta yep all through facebook it's a wow. Facebook. It's Facebook's own system. It's not even you feel me. It's not like with nigga Microsoft or with Apple. You know what I'm saying? It's all the middle. Oh, so that ain't got shit to do with the with the PS with the PS one. Nah, uh, you can plug it up to your computer. That's about it. So it's not the same. Like, say if I had the PS joint, it's not the same world. Mm. Oh, okay, I don't word. think so. Don't don't quote me though. I don't think so though. I don't think word. it's the same thing. They might got the same program, but I don't. I don't think so. That shit, bro. They said they start selling food on the metaverse. I'm like, so, all right, how you going to eat that motherfucker? Like, what yeah, are you talking saying, about? Too. Like, how are you eating? <laughs> like, like you telling me about the metaverse and shit. Like, all this shit. Like, I got to go and watch documentaries. Because I'm a real documentary type nigga. So, I go and, you know, I, I know probably 60% of the shit be bullshit that they be telling me. But the 40%, I take that and I evaluate it to my life to how I see things. And if you telling me I can go and order food on the metaverse, how the fuck am I going to eat it? Like, that metaverse. shit is just, so P, shit just crazy, bro. So, P, nigga, we got 3D printers now, nigga, so... Yeah, you're right. 3D printing. Mm-hmm. So, man, I just see it. It's funny you said that. I was just watching the fucking documentary on Vice, man, about 3D printers. And these niggas are 3D printing handguns. Mm-hmm. And it Hell just popped yeah. up. And I'm just like, what? 3D printing a handgun? Like, And this shit really fire. It's not accurate. Yep. Some of them shits blow up in your hand and all that. But the shit, until they get it real accurate to where it's a real, a, a real good shot, bro, it, it's still shooting off motherfucking projectiles so don't get me wrong the bitch still work it may yeah. malfunction but the shit work and that's nigga, and that's I was the trying thing. to have christy nigga make me an f and n nigga shit mm. Mm. had that motherfucking mm. thing as soon as she got that shit i'm like man let me see if i can get the blueprint nigga Dude. Nigga, I went and checked on. I went and checked on a 3D printer. They want some. They want some money for them shits. I went and checked on them. I said, wait a minute. These niggas is making guns, plastic guns, but like, wait, and they actually shoot. That shit was crazy. I went and checked on. I dead ass did one. Check it on that motherfucker, man. Shit, wow. I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I had some shit like that at the house. But it's not even. It's not even got to be about guns. We can just th- like my ass right here. Let me three D print this. This is already plastic. Yeah, three D like, print this shit. Word, you know what I'm anything, any merch. fucking thing. Merch. Silver you, you merch. Know? Yeah, S- cups, mugs, and shit. silverware. Yes, yeah, silverware. When word. you need to eat or something, you ain't got to go buy utensils no more. Buy shit is yep. crazy. It's <laughs> 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 possibilities. <laughs> That you could have with a motherfucking 3D printer sitting in your living room. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Literally the ability to make anything, like for real. Build That's anything why that, with a machine. If y'all see that new commercial, right? And it's funny we talking about this, that new commercial with LeBron James when he talking to his younger self and he mm-hmm. telling his younger self everything oh, that's yeah. basically going to happen. And I'm like, yo, that's fucking crazy because it's like when a mother... I was in jail when we was actually able to do this. So when a nigga come in jail, yo, you can talk to a nigga and see a nigga on the phone on iPhones right now. I thought it was some bullshit. I'm like, you getting you fucking kidding me? Like, I you mean I can talk to a nigga and see a nigga while I'm talking to him? Oh, 
Word. Bro, I came home, mind you, like I went in, I went into jail 2009, came home 2015. So in that time, that's when the FaceTime and all that video chat shit actually was lit. They blew. Yeah. You motherfucker didn't lie to me, bro. The birth of the first iPhone. Yeah, I was in jail by that time. I was already in prison by that time. So using them trying to say, I, when when I came home now, I come home 2015. I only been home for what six, seven years now. So I still feel like I'm fresh. All this shit still new to me. This shit, like I'm, I'm still fucking bugged out from the shit that I see. Like your refrigerator, con. Fuck you talking about, nigga. That shit. It's hella funny. Out. It's hella funny. Right. He mentioned it because I'm surely gonna bring your motherfucking refrigerator up, <laughs> nigga. Your refrigerator, nigga. It tripped because I don't remember when I seen the commercial. I'm in jail. A nigga's in his pool. He said, "All right." Uh, his wife talking to him. He said, "We need to go food shopping." He puts in the app and he looks at his refrigerator and the shit is showing him everything in his refrigerator from his phone. So now he mm -hmm. just goes to the Walmart app or the super whatever supermarket. And he ordering all his food, and the person come, they drop the food off at the front door. The nigga didn't have to do nothing. Why he's sitting in the pool the whole time? Yeah, that shit's connected yeah, know to they, you know, Instacart and all that type of shit. You know what they getting us ready for? They getting us ready for robots to take over, my man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, 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 they yeah. Ready, man. Just like they was getting us, just like they was getting us ready for the pandemic. We seen motherfuckers right. with masks and shit on before this mm -hmm. shit happened, my nigga. Mm -hmm. They was implanting that shit in our sight. Way before this shit happened, I mean, for sure. Well, all right. So, so y'all want to? All right, we getting prepared for robots and all that, right? So, how the fuck is a robot gonna have common sense? Yeah, they got the ones that's learning. So I don't know. It's not. It's all. It's all gonna be pre-programmed shit. It's all gonna be artificial. Yeah, they got robots that's learning, nigga. I'll be thinking that's that shit yeah, like algorithm because say. you. You you think about it right now. We already have robots. Look, think of self checkout. That's a robot, nigga. You don't need a fucking red. You don't need a fucking cashier, nigga. Nigga, this a robot, nigga. Our phone, yeah. yeah what we talking about? Yeah. Nigga, they got whole ass <laughs> fucking robots that, that that walk like the dogs and shit. You know what I'm saying? This yeah, nigga yeah, for yeah, real. This nigga for real. Who who is that? He sent his shoes to somebody, nigga. And had that fucking dog robot deliver the shit to the nigga front door and shit. It was mm -hmm. another another celebrity. I, I want to say it was little Yachty that he was sending them shoes. It was Yachty. Shit. It was Yachty. It was Yachty. Yeah. Yachty. Pharrell and Yachty. Nigga Yachty. had the little dog robot walk the little package up to his door and shit. Like what the fuck? I give I give what's the name? I give what's the name? The credit for that though. Amazon and Domino's because Domino's was the first. You see a car come to your house and ain't nobody driving that motherfucker. Oh, Domino, they use dropping like, pizza off, nigga. Yeah, Domino yeah. like a little, little thing dropping that pizza. And Damn. then Amazon used to drop the shit off. Amazon, I think they still do it with the drones. Don't Amazon still do that drone shit? I don't so know. They might, depending on you know wherever they got to deliver. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying, it's like it's crazy. So it's like I like that was the first two people well, that Amazon I was seen delivered. doing. It. He don't really play that shit too much like that. It's for his kids. So when I got on it, I was playing it, but I've been waiting for somebody around my age to say like they. <laughs> I don't even really like the, a drone. No, I don't even, I don't even really oh. like the. Uh, tell, I don't really like to describe it. Like, I don't like to tell people. I want to show a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta yeah, see you can't like, just, that yeah. shit. Like it, that shit blow you away. Like I can describe it as best I can, but and so what it's gonna do? Like I feel like you feel me. You over there, but it's gonna make us feel more in touch. Like because nigga, we gonna be in the room with each other. Nigga, like you feel me? We just really can't physically really. You know, touch each other, but I think at the end of the day, we're in the room. Nigga, I'm telling you, nigga, we'd be sitting right here, bro, sitting right there. We playing poker and shit at the poker table, nigga. That shit, yes. bro. I could, you I play could poker? You it. play poker? You play poker? I don't even know. I don't even know how to play poker. Nigga, I just be in the room. I, 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 I got to get it, bro. I'll show you how to play poker. Poker is not bad, bro. Poker is a, is a dope I don't game. I don't play that man. shit either, for real. Poker is a dope game, man. <laughs> Word. And I I just learned because you know being locked up I learned you know shit you ain't got number time on your hands poker chess I learned chess in jail you know what I'm saying playing chess I learned that shit in jail like you got number time on your hands so you better do something and I became yeah. so good in chess like we making our own boards and we're not even sitting in front of each other we screaming these we're in the box and we screaming the numbers out hey B seven move here boom boom like battle shit battle shit that's basically what it was Nate it was like back mm -hmm. in my Battleship. That's exactly what it was, bro. Exactly what it was. Right. Yeah, yeah, 
I think PlayStation had uh they had something like that on on what was it the PlayStation Three? They had the little world shit. Go in there and shoot, play fucking bowling and shit. Walk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk to the bowling alley. And walk shit. to the bowling alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. Yeah, you're right. <coughs> yeah. That's kind of like what the Oculus shit, huh? It is like that's what it is, but but like okay, so they got this shit called All Space on there, right? Mm-hmm. But they also got like uh, Horizons, like that's through the meta. But this is other shit called All Space, but motherfuckers is on there doing all type of shit, like like that's what they was doing a little date and shit. Motherfucker had like an underground, um, like a comedy, like an open mic night and shit. Like they got the stage, motherfuckers just sitting around. You know what I'm saying? They got like little, like little uh, cosmetics. You can go and get like drinks and shit. And like if you drink too much, like your player will throw up and shit. It's it's raw as fuck, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like I suggest you get one. That's fire, bro. bro. That's shit. fire. Like, it's like these niggas brought the Sims to life with real yeah, people, bro. bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Er. But nigga said that shit, yo, you're gonna be able to start having sex on the metaphor. I said, what? Wait a minute. Come on, man. Come <laughs> that on. That shit's definitely man. coming, nigga. It's gonna be little mini games like it was yeah. left out of work. Yeah. They just gonna have little <laughs> sex sex toys for niggas, you feel me? To go with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna but be. But like he already part of said, niggas tour. is dating on metaverse. Niggas is actually dating. Like, yo, bro, like you can actually go out and it's so crazy. You can go out and like we going to Applebee's. You sitting at the table at, at like yo, bro, and you having a conversation with this person. This shit is so crazy, bro. Pete, right? Pete. Shit, wow. so, nigga, they had a big nightclub, and so it was somebody like they got they got they they got their own community on there. So one of their people had died, and they're in the nightclub in this. You feel me? Nightclub on this Oculus shit, nigga. And they're like, dude, start crying and hell and shit. And, like no, not on no like role playing shit, nigga. Like, bro, like <laughs> crying and shit, like. He was Damn. fucked up, and they was having like a like a event in this club in the metaverse, my nigga. Like that shit is oh, get sticky, my nigga. But we sitting in our living room, now. That shit crazy, my nigga. Yeah, I was talking yeah. to that nigga, uh, uh, you know, Breeze Oliver. You know, since I mentioned this nigga before, I'm trying to have him on here and shit. But yeah, he was talking about on his Instagram. You know, saying he had plans <laughs> for the metaverse and shit. Like, I think a lot of artists. <laughs> Gonna be putting themselves in that little metaverse space and shit. I think it's a lot of money to be made for real, too. Yo, motherfuckers said they're gonna be start throwing concerts in that bitch, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah they already yeah. got them. They got them. They, they got already got concerts in the, venue, in the, in the venue. Yeah. crazy. Pre recorded, bro. I've been to a couple of them. Kid, Kevin, Young Thug. That nigga said I've been to a couple of them. 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 Party in the huh. room. That, Mex- the that Mexican class, song, the, the Snoop the Spanish song that I showed you that one yeah, time, yeah. that's where I yeah, learned yeah. it from, nigga. Yeah, 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 the Oculus concert, nigga. <laughs> that's lit, though. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna have to get one of the motherfuckers, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. For, for $300, you really can't go wrong. You're like, what are you doing bad for $300? That's not bad. Nah, I, got my shit. I got my shit through quad pay, nigga. You know, a little short to break it up into four payments anyway, so. Yeah, 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 shit, yeah. Nigga, on a Thursday, my shit was there by Tuesday, man. That's not bad. I'm, that's not bad. I'm trying to get to a Series X first. Fuck all that, man. I, I ain't gonna, gonna lie, that's what I want X. too. I want to. I want yeah, that too. But then I'm thinking, but then I think to myself, all this fucking money I didn't invest in this one, like I'm just gonna switch over to it. And I gotta, it's like basically starting over new. Because none of that shit got me over. Niggas it's still over that shit over, too. Bro. It's the same nah, shit. Nah, it, too. Co- it, it carry over. It carry over, but it like you feel me? It not your, though. not your two K. But I'm talking about not your two K. So I didn't, I didn't <laughs> spend about damn it. I didn't spend Why about. It's all a cloud. It's all a cloud, nigga. But no, you, I, you I, I didn't spend about five so, hundred on VC. I can play. I play. The, I play the old shit on my shit. I can play the old shit. Nah, old. nah, man. I nah, need nah. to know right now. Like, so my what? character that I got on the oh, one. It won't go. Kill? It won't go into the new generation game. Oh, okay, yeah. Which will be able to. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Oh, I don't care word. about playing that same yeah. game. I want my character because I didn't made so much. I didn't invested so much money into this nigga right now. It's split. Man, this word. nigga. It's split. This nigga, it's split though. It's this nigga split. like it's two different. Like oh, niggas okay, is on old gen saying. and niggas is on yeah, new niggas gen, on new so gen. Yeah, it still right, works. So. It still work, you're right. You see what I'm saying? But I'm like, yeah, the new gen, I'm like, damn, new gen, you could do so much, you get better clothing. The the outside actually is you walk into stores getting your hit. Like it's so city. fire. It's like, yo, bro, that shit it's the city. Like you said, it's the city shit is crazy, yeah. man. 
That should have. And I wanted I to switch over, it, but I'm waiting. And I'm like, damn. That, uh, that Series X, man. And I, I think, and I, and I think of. And I'm thinking about this shit. I'm like, damn. All right, I go pay for the new gen. Then I gotta go spend money on VC. I gotta build my man back up. That's a lot of All money and dedication, again, yeah. bro. Money and dedication. You remember when you first started, you was iffy, like, yo, man, it's a lot. Then you started getting the flow. You're like, all right, this ain't about nothing. Yeah. I got my man together. It's right. like, yeah, man, that shit crazy. Yeah, yeah you know, I don't play both. Working. I ain't putting niggas working on both of me. I ain't, I don't, some niggas, you could. It's not impossible, but I'm not doing it. Nah, it ain't impossible. Right. It, nah, it ain't impossible. Because some niggas come home from work, and that's the only thing they do. <coughs> They're not going outside. They're rolling up. they sitting in their house all day long. <laughs> And they got a team of people who they hit up and And nigga, if you don't stay on my life, my nigga. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Shit crazy, man. Yeah, that shit wild. Yeah, that shit wild. I couldn't do it. Uh that's the only thing about 2K, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? About buying a new gen and shit. That sh- nigga don't be wanting to do all that building and shit again. That shit is a lot of fucking work, my nigga. Trying to build your character up. You want your character to be raw. So you know what I'm saying? You gonna play though? GTA from 360? What else you gonna play? GTA from 360 though? Man, shit. There's hella other shit to play. Besides doing that shit over, nigga. Shit, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. Then they want you to rank up online. You know what I'm saying? I, ain't, I don't even be fucking with it online. Cause everybody now they got it where you, where you gotta rank up like in a certain like time period. You feel me? It's not like you go throughout the whole season of 2K, nigga. It's like, you feel me? Ninety yeah. like I don't know. It's not ninety days. It's probably like 40, 40 days or something like that. Nigga. Yeah, that's how it is. And this one is keep season yeah. seasons, and they take your exactly. level mm-hmm. from you, and you gotta exactly. keep. Going. I'm like my nigga. I'm not doing it. Fuck all that, man. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot going on. Man. It's definitely a lot, my nigga. That should take. I mean, game it as the older I get, for real, to really like move and really be doing something with this game and shit as far as like being financially couple with comfortable in this game and shit some young nigga shit for real. <laughs> <laughs> for real it the is I but get, I, the more I'm realizing that shit. It is, but it's a young nigga that ain't got no responsibilities though, because if you got responsibility, yeah. this shit expensive, nigga. Like yeah, that's like, a fact. This yeah, but I, that's expensive. what I mean by these young these young niggas that's living in their mama's house, my nigga. You feel me? Oh yeah. Ain't oh, paying yeah. no rent, you know what I'm saying? They on their mama free Wi Fi. You know what I mean, they getting everything, all the bills paid for them, like them type of little young niggas. That's <laughs> the niggas. That's the niggas who making it streaming and you feel me? Not putting, ain't have to grind it out. You know what I'm saying? They stream all day, every day. I, you know what I mean, mean? I ain't streaming every day, all day, man. Mm-hmm. Man, you's an adult, nigga. Hell yeah, you're an adult. <laughs> you definitely not doing that. Man, nah, nigga, that's young nigga shit, nigga. Young niggas can sit up in front of the game, nigga, for nine hours every single fucking consecutive day. Ah, nigga, niggas got responsibilities, nigga. Niggas is fathers and some more shit. Niggas can't do that. You better have a fucked up life if you can sit in front of a goddamn game for more than five hours. Just, just, just mm. nothing to do. I'm like, like I can't up, even do that shit. Four night, nigga. Nah, nigga, that's because you choose to do that, nigga. You know, yeah. like, you nah, choose I mean, to nigga, do I that. I don't even, the cold part, I don't even be playing the game. I'm sitting in this motherfucker on this chill, chilling, talking to niggas on this motherfucker. Yeah, like, chatting it up. Word, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. See, I you find vibing. myself chopping it up. Doing more so than gaming for real, for real on this live shit, definitely. Yeah, cause it be times, it be days on end, my nigga. I don't play shit, my nigga. Yeah, that shit can go on for weeks, for real. Just yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. I literally too. turn my Xbox on, nigga. My shit would be sitting here looking at my couch, nigga. <laughs> I've gone out the room a lot of times, nigga. My shit just be on, nigga. <coughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> Be, I be meaning to get to it, but listen, I ain't get to it, man. Fuck it, yeah. man. I can't get to <laughs> it. <laughs> I be meaning to get to it, man. I ain't get to it. That's how my shit is, man. I'm like, damn, this, I bought this shit. But like I said, when I do have the time, like I love it. Like getting on that motherfucker and it's relaxing. Yeah. That shit relaxing like a motherfucker. Yeah, definitely. Take your mind off of the bullshit. Sure. That's what I said about the Oculus yeah. shit. I said, yeah, that shit is something yeah. else. Yeah, that shit is something though. You pull out Thanksgiving, yeah. Christmas time when the family there, and you just get niggas drunk and 
yo, listen, you break anything in this motherfucker, you pay for it. But we're going to have some fun tonight. <laughs> I see niggas breaking TVs, holes in a wall. I'm like, man, this shit out of control, man. And I put it on. Like I said, I played that, that one game, that Creed shit. And it was like I was really fighting a nigga. Like a nigga was really standing in front of me, like, swinging yeah. on me. Hello, yeah, mercy. Uh, so this nigga motherfucking Tom Brady, man, I knew this nigga wasn't going to stay gone, man, you know what I'm saying? I knew this nigga retired, nigga came back like a couple weeks ago. I knew the nigga was going to come back. I didn't think the nigga was going to retire. I think he was a spitter and he didn't get that motherfucking ring like he wanted, you know what I'm saying? So he, he acted out in the moment. It was like, fuck it, I'm retired. Knowing he didn't want to retire and here he is coming back, man. That's, that's that's goat shit. That's a plan. That's goat shit, man. Look, I mean, hey, don't don't the best, all the best say they do that. Jay Z, motherfucking Mike Tyson, really have, yeah, Michael sure. Jordan, Michael. This is these niggas tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what it is. It, it, their confidence goes down when the fans start to look at somebody else and not look at them how they want them to look at them. You know what I'm saying? It's like nigga, you came in the best your whole life. Now you're not considered the best no more. So you know what? I'm gonna get my fans. I'm about to retire. See, you you yeah. the best, but yo, you your body just ain't got it no more. You know what I'm saying? Physically, you just can't do it no more. You there? You you sharper? You better? You know what I'm saying? But your body just you ain't got it. I you think know? Tom Brady got it for. I think he still got at least like I'd say two that or got possibly it. three more seasons in it for that sure. That nigga got he got he got experience, my nigga. And that's what yeah. he has. You feel me? That's what's gonna yeah. get him through if he continues on. It's not gonna you know be that science. You know what I'm saying? Cause, the, cause you know, the young boy always gonna win, you know what I'm saying? After he beat your beat your ass for a while. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. His team just gotta be there, that's all. Yeah. You gotta want it just as bad as time. You gotta want it just as bad as Brady. You gotta want it just as bad as him, man. You want it just as bad as him as your leader. Trust me, you 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 gonna win. Your leader ain't no fucking joke. That's a bad motherfucker right there. They got a shot. They got a shot next year though. They got a shot, especially with Brady coming back. You were tired next year after the losing. Every team in the NFL got a shot next year. That's how NFL go. Every team in the NFL got a shot next year. You never know what it. So that's a dangerous. That's a dangerous game, man. NFL is dangerous, bro, because you can, you you can do the do the best the whole fucking season. Come postseason, you ain't that nigga no more. Man, you are, yeah, you, 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 star player get hurt or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, this ain't baseball yeah. and basketball where you got four games to win against one motherfucker. No, nigga, you got one time to lose and your ass out of it. Yeah, that's <laughs> a fact in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah, one time to lose and you gone. Yeah, even in even in the home. season, four yeah. losses can fuck you up. Yeah, yeah definitely. You don't even see any these motherfuckers. So you don't How many know, times you know we seen niggas you, do, you with really crazy records? How many times we seen niggas with 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 fourteen and four? I mean, uh, twelve and four records and still don't make the playoffs. That shit happens. So it's like, yo, bro, like, all right, you won, but your statistics why you won by default. That's why I try to tell people, yeah, a nigga in football can win by uh, by a field goal, but they ain't do shit the whole game. That win really doesn't even count because they don't get no points. So yeah, you got the win, but when it comes time to tally them points up, and if there's a team that's like nine and fucking five. Or nine and four, whatever the case may be, how many games it is, and their points tally up more than you, they may make it to the players before you. That's how yeah. fucking crazy that's the game football, football is. Yeah, that's the game yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's about Sunday. stats. It's about yeah. stats. Yeah. Like, bro, you gotta produce. You ain't produce. Nah, this ain't no you just sitting on the bench, you you riding the wave out with the homies because the homies is winning. Nah, 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 man. You better put some work in. Yeah, Tom Brady, I I think I knew he was coming back, like I said, man. Uh I'm happy to see him come back though. I mean, he a goat. I really enjoy yeah. watching that nigga play. I used to like watching uh, Peyton Maddie play too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? You recognize that, oh man, that greatness, my nigga. That they IQs is off the charts when they come into that football field. I and mean, especially Peyton Manning. <coughs> that nigga IQ is fucking off the astronomical, nigga. Oh, so is that, is, 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 is the IQ more is it more entertaining to watch versus like the physical like 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 a Mike Vick you know what I'm saying 
type shit. Um, Lamar Jackson type shit where, you know what I'm saying, they getting out there and they making like exciting plays versus, you know what I'm saying, calculated plays. I would say that's definitely more entertaining to watch. Uh, you know what I'm saying, a Mike Vick. Uh, and I'm gonna even throw my nigga Kaepernick in there. He was definitely exciting to watch. Um, yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying, Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, them niggas is definitely more exciting to watch. I think with the IQ and the brain uh, functionality on the field, I think that's more of like a marvel to look at. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they really use a name. You can see they mind really ticking on that field. Like, you know what I'm saying? They really breaking down defense so, and all that kind of shit. So would you kind of compare that to like Mayweather versus like, or Tyson? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. That is a, that's a great analogy. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Facts. Yes. Definitely. So Mike Vick and Kaepernick, the niggas would be like the Mike Tysons. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then Peyton Manning and you feel me? Um, Peyton Manning and um, 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 Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? The niggas would definitely be like the Floyds. For sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can expect it to see 12 rounds. You not, You can expect to not see a knockout. But you're going to see 12 rounds of greatness. Science. Nigga. Of greatness, Facts. nigga. Of greatness. Exactly. That's a great analogy. For sure. They're going to show, gonna show you how to box, bro. They're going to show you how to box. They're going to show you how to do do, do the things. And that's not to say what Tyson. To that's not to say what Tyson did when he came in there wasn't slightly calculated, but it was more like brawl style, more like, you know what I'm saying? He came yeah. in and knocked a nigga head off. Like, he's, yeah. trying, he's going yeah. to handle business. And nigga, Cus you know, was a demon, nigga. Cus Kamala was a hamlet, nigga. That's a fact. Cus had that nigga, nigga, seeing something else in the ring, my nigga. Face his opponents, nigga. That, that nigga turned was a to a man. That nigga turned to a full demon in the ring, my nigga. That's a fact. That's a fact. The way that nigga would hit niggas, my nigga, come mm -hmm. on. You have to be demonized. <laughs> my nigga to be hit Turn, niggas something like wrong he with was. Him. He'll yeah. knock you out. He and then go and pick it. you up and, and, and apologize for hitting you that hard, yo. I'm sorry. Yeah. He knew it. Nigga, was, nigga, you just broke my bell. Nigga, what you mean? Sorry. Man, yeah, his confidence is crazy through the roof. But how could you not? You got niggas' arms bruised up from blocking your punches. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Nigga, how the fuck it hurt to block a nigga? You know what the fuck? The fucking crazy thing about Tyson, Jordan, and niggas like Brady, they and LeBron, they put fear in their opponent before the fucking shit even start. Word. A nigga yeah, scared a to go against you before this bitch even start. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So before it start up, a nigga's already thinking, damn, what if he hits me and knocks me out in front of everybody? Or what if? It's always a what if with these niggas. Or what if Jordan dunks on me? Or what if Tom Brady sets a record on me? You see what I'm saying? Like these people, like, like, like it's fucking crazy, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like these niggas set a narrative before the fucking the show was even started. Man, the narrative you know, is already it's, set. It's they cool because nice you can always you can always tell a worthy opponent though because they come in and they and they not scared. You know what I'm saying? So they're they not scared. Of that. Them the ones who overcome because they come in there not mentally broken. Mm -hmm. right? They come mm -hmm. in there ready to overcome whatever you've been doing. Nigga, you finna fight me now, and I'm finna, I'm finna knock this branch down, nigga. You know what I mean? They coming, them niggas that coming near like that to a nigga that's twenty and zero or some shit. Them niggas usually put that first L on them type of niggas records for sure. Y'all do that shit. Y'all come up against a nigga who let, like, say for instance, we playing video games. You come, you come up against a nigga who niggas is like, oh yeah, this nigga raw, and y'all automatically just be like, damn, kind of like, kind of like thrown off, or do you go in there and do your regular shit because you know. Uh, I'm, true, nigga, don't lie. I, I'm not I'm not gonna lie, nigga. It's, if it's a game that I play, I don't give a fuck what your record is, because you ain't played me. You mm -hmm. might have beat a hundred niggas, but you ain't you ain't I wanted was I wasn't one of them hundred niggas. So that's nigga, <laughs> that's how I come in. You feel me? Especially if it's a game that I play. Soul Calibur, Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These are games that I'm gonna talk shit about. You feel me? I'm gonna I'm gonna be confident as fuck about you know what I'm saying that I'm I could beat anybody on this planet in, and that's a fact. I'm confident in that. Fight night too, definitely. 
Yeah, we've been trying to link on that shit forever. They got that. They got that new shit coming out. They, I just seen. I just, I just looked at a uh, something on Facebook with the new shit coming out. They, they are uh, testing the gameplay on that shit. Bro, I see Some that e- shit too. Yeah, but fight night, fight night is my shit. I ain't gonna lie, fight night is my shit. Like I, we set up. I mean, the homie set up in twenty five dollars a game. Like that shit only oh, gets man. put on when the homie come over and put twenty five dollars down. Come on, let's go. Man. Pick who you want. Let's go. Out there, you know, for real, you know, all kind of little mini tournaments, national tournaments, regional oh, tournaments. All that right. shit is all right. <laughs> hey, we got cash app and we got nigga fight night champion, nigga. It's still, it's all here. Like I said, oh, man. I was trying to play though. My champion was tripping. Though. I ain't going. Nah, man. Nah, my nigga, shit went to Memocon. We were trying to get on that shit together. I'm about to tell you niggas what to do. I'm about to tell you niggas what to do, man. That's why you got me here, man. So what you got to do, man? Because it's not, it's not letting you accept the term and agreements. All right. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, so you gotta go download SSX, the first one from the original Xbox. SSX, that's that snowboard game. Download that shit. Accept the terms and conditions on there, and you'll find that gonna work. Get the fuck okay. out of here, dead ass. Go try it, and then we're gonna come back and talk about it. Is SSX no free? <laughs> SS- yeah, it's free. It should be in Game Pass. It should be in Game Pass. Yeah, yeah, it's on that shit. Yeah, SSX is for free. Yeah, let me do that, Yeah, Thank you, Internet. I'm gonna do it right now. But yeah, that's that's what's up. Cause yeah, I've been I've been seeing niggas on Fight Night, and I've been feeling the way. Be like, damn mm-hmm. man, my fucking Fight Night wasn't working. I could challenge. Wow, my shit not working. Yeah, that's fact. <laughs> yeah my shit I don't working. even be saying shit. Cause my shit was, you know what I mean? We tried and tried, but I'm gonna definitely try that SSX shit though. I want to say I did that. Matter of fact, um, you ain't did it. You ain't did it. it. You ain't did it. I want to say I did. Cause so I, I did it. it up. And it worked. Right, I'm about to try it again. Set, my set turns to condition on SSX and then the fight night. I'm gonna fight no more. Yeah. Hurt. So no yeah. more. Yeah. All right, so you feel me? I definitely want to. Um, I know we're gonna lose my nigga grip soon. So you know what I'm saying? I definitely want to get on this Will Smith slap. Um, uh, how I fucking feel about it. Uh, a lot of people were saying it was a setup. Um, so I'm gonna show this picture right on Instagram. Uh-huh. These niggas posed. These niggas posed for the pic. You know what I'm saying? And um, the caption of the motherfucking pic reads. So this is this is a picture before the motherfucking um, before the shit took place though. You know what I'm saying? This is before. You feel me? So yeah. This is the pic, right? Got all dressed up to choose. Chaos. This is before the Oscars. You feel me? Now, why the fuck would you post that and say that before the shit? You know what I mean? So, people saying the shit set up. I don't know if it was set up. I mean, you look at the Will Smith's face when he's like, keep my wife's name Name. out your fucking mouth. And then he was like, you know, his face is real stern. I don't know, it looked like raw motion, but at the same time, we talking about the greatest fucking actor on the planet, my nigga. You know what I mean? Facts. So, Facts. I just, you just don't fucking know. Like, you know what I'm saying? This nigga can act his ass off. So he can portray that it was raw motion without it being no type of raw motion there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. But at the same time, why would it be a stunt? You're Will Smith. I ain't like, gonna lie. The way he cocked back and slapped that nigga though, like Chris Rock <laughs> really didn't move. Like he didn't move. Like, cause when I first seen it, you gotta understand, I'm a battle rap nigga. So I like battle rap. That same night that happened, Sue Surf was supposed to battle Cortez. They end up getting into a fight because uh young MA was there and somebody tried to do something to young MA. Sue Surf can't jump him. So now my Instagram's going crazy. So I go to Instagram and I look and I say, all right, well, I'm thinking Will Smith and Chris Rock, are they acting? I'm thinking in my head that this shit is some bullshit. So I went to sleep, like not even thinking about that. I wake up the next morning and it's memes and there's so much shit going on because I didn't get to see like the video I seen, it wasn't Will Smith screaming. It was just somebody, Will Smith slapping that nigga. 
I didn't get to see Will Smith talking this shit after. So then I'm like, damn, that shit was real. He really slapped the nigga over his bitch, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I went back and got the backlash on what happened and why the slap came. And it was like, it was a bad fucking <laughs> joke. That's, that's it. Hey, but, man, that ain't his bitch, man. Go ahead. Yeah, it's, that yeah, it's white. That bitch, that bitch white. That nah, bitch, man. That bitch I'm that saying that ain't his bitch. bitch. That's, a, that's everybody that bitch, bitch, but yeah. That bitch but, out here, yeah, man. Bitch. Just like the Kardashians, nigga. They are she fucked that nigga. Man. She fucked his life. But I'm saying, like, Jada also is, is, Jada is two batteries. She's a negative and a positive. And you don't really know which one you're going to get, but you need both of them to keep going. You see what I'm saying? And that's what Jada is, the motherfuckers, bro. Because oh, regardless of what, to will, her to Will, what she to, is to, to Will. To anybody that she was around, Pac, Will, anybody who she's around, Jada, Jada Pinkett Smith, regardless of all the sexual shit that we know about her that we allegedly she's done. We don't, we don't know. know that we yeah. don't know. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the shit that the, that the public says about this lady. Look at Will Smith and how successful he was with having this lady in his fucking corner. I'm like, I'm choosing Jada Pinkett Smith over Kim Kardashian. I may choose Jada Pinkett Smith over Beyonce. I may choose Jada Pinkett over a lot of these fucking celebrity wives. Because look how successful Will is. Yeah, he, in, in his mind, he go through shit, but you gotta understand he's in that fucking, in the, in the industry. Not only that, this thing is one of the top niggas in the motherfucker. Yeah. Hands down. The success yeah. shows that he's happy in his life. I mean, exactly. that's what it appears, you feel me? So that shows, you know what I'm saying, it's cool, you know what I'm saying, that. So I, I feel, I fuck with that, what you just said. I like the way you just broke that shit down. I'm not even gonna because lie to you. We always say, you only yeah. as strong as your queen. That's This is his queen. This is his Nefertiti. This is his queen. So regardless of what he was going through, he always had her in his corner where he can turn to and say, yo, I can tell you any fucking thing. I can cry in front of you. I can be a bitch. I can be a man. I can be Will Smith. I can be me, nigga. Me, yeah. not Hancock, not all these characters that I fucking play. I can be me. And that girl was there to console that, to uplift that, to say, babe, go bust that ass. Yeah, you fucked up. You turned down Matrix for Wild Wild West. You got 22 million for that. Yeah. You could have been Neo, but nigga, go and do something else. Nigga. <laughs> and look, come on, bro. So this is what I look at at the end of the fucking day. I don't That's care true. what somebody says about fucking Jada Pinkett, bro. This is a strong fucking black woman, bro, because no, she bye. Build that man, she built that this nigga boy. On fire, nigga. Not even that boy, Will Smith. I mean, not even that man. Will Smith was a boy when he got with Jada Pinkett. That's a fucking woman. She made that nigga who he was, and he made her. They and it ain't too much other. negative. It ain't too much like it's just now some you feel me after so long. Like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't yeah, all this they, bullshit all along. In 2000, and what it came out in 19, right before. They like to have sex. Who the fuck don't like to have sex? Like, okay. They yeah, let they know, other they people... That, that ain't stuff. even none of our business, my nigga. But for that's real, not for real. even... For real. Because, like, listen, that doesn't stop their money. So we're worried about the wrong fucking things in life. That's not stopping their nigga. money. Y'all better listen to this nigga. Why are we worrying about who the fuck somebody's fucking and their money not stopping? Now, if they said, oh, shit, they caught AIDS. Now, Will Smith can't kiss nobody in movies no more. Jada Pinkett can't have these sex scenes and transmit body fluids. Now, that will fuck their money up. But this sex shit that they got going on, this swing of weird shit, it ain't fucking their money up. So why the fuck we focus on that dumb shit? Yeah, I didn't give a fuck about none of that. Like I said, they know swingers. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing. But the fact that this nigga went up here and slapped Chris Rock, though, that's yeah. going to fuck some yeah. dollars up, nigga. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. he had a deal with Apple. He had a uh, some kind of documentary coming with Apple. He had a deal with Netflix. He had some kind of shit coming on Netflix. He had Bad Boys 4 in production. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying all that shit is all that shit is coming to halts now. You know what I'm saying, but this is all why that I say shit is coming to halts now. We talking at least real. a cool hundred million and plus, my nigga, with them with That's just Apple real. and Netflix. That's alone. why I say he really slapped that nigga, bro. Because, like, as as Facts. as gangsters right now, we all are men. Con, me and you are from the same same same. I would say it. 
not area, but brotherhood. We're fucking members of our association, right? And as much right. as we say, I ain't gonna throw my line out, I ain't gonna throw my life out there for my kids, but we still come from that era where if a nigga walks up and violates, fuck that, we're going to jail. Yeah, Will Smith knew what the consequences was. You know why he knew? Because when you got up out your seat, you had to walk up those steps. You had about a good 15 second delay before you got to Chris Rock to yeah. say, you know what? You could have screamed on him and said, don't talk about my wife. You could have said what you said before slapping that nigga. When you slapped yeah. that nigga, you knew what was going to happen behind that. Just like if I bring my know. gun out the house and I shoot a nigga, I know the consequences behind this motherfucker because we're all adults. And you know, you're like, like I said, he, his delay was so crazy because you got to get up out your chair, you had to climb up on stage. Now you're yeah. up there. You walk, yeah. you fixing your clothes on the way there, so you're making it look like I ain't gonna do nothing. Once you like got you're up, just you grab all, the you mic. all the way in. You came back out once he but, got up. But being Will Smith. He could have went up there and grabbed the mic and started roasting yeah. Chris Rock. We don't know what he was going up on stage yeah. to do. Definitely wasn't Be expecting that nigga to slap that nigga. Slap the he shit off that nigga. He, he, <laughs> didn't, he didn't show no violent intent when he got up on that stage. This is what I'm trying to say. You see him walk, he's walking up. He didn't really show too much violent intent. So he could have grabbed the mic from him. Yo, you was a crackhead in fucking New Jack City. He could have went crazy uh. if he wanted to. Yeah, but he could because Will Smith is that motherfucker that can really, you know, as he take it, he can dish it out. No homo. He can dish it out to the nigga. So we didn't know what he was going to do. So when he cocked back and slapped that motherfucker, he already had it in his mind that, yo, the next person that violates my wife in my face, in my in my territory, I'm going at him. I don't give a That's fuck what what's going too. on in life. We had to look at the past and everything that, you feel me, that he went through, that he didn't been ridiculed and all this type of shit since the August South Cena shit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So... I guess that's what I was saying too to his defense also like you know what I mean maybe he was just fed up you know what I'm saying maybe he was tired of, maybe he was tired of seeing you feel me um Jada you know be hurt by the social media he hella and he hella emotional he hella emotional right now he bro. is he got but some he shit just, going on bro. but exactly but he ain't even he ain't he just got like that since August I've seen him my nigga he ain't been no emotional you're not, you gonna, gonna, say that. Too. You're you not gonna say understand. that though you gotta understand, to nobody that. never really Man, said that shit in truth. front of Will Smith. You see all these memes and these blogs about it, but nobody said that in front of Will Smith. Now you got a nigga, Chris Rock. Will Smith probably was waiting for a sexual joke. Had it been a sexual joke, he probably would have took it on the chin. But he made it about her fucking disease. Like, bro, so now you got Will Smith slapping this nigga. So on the good side and the bad side, there's pros to this. And cons. The pros is, what if everybody with alopecia was everybody with cancer that had to cut their hair? Said, you know what? That's right. He's supposed to do that to that motherfucker. Now everybody that's saying, well, this is Will Smith, and he's supposed to be a role model for the children. He's supposed to be a role model for black people. Those are the people that saying that was bad. But people that has any type of disease, it's like, nigga, you don't fucking joke with nobody disease, bro. But did he make the joke in malice though? Was it, you know what I'm saying? Did he know, you know what I'm saying? Like type shit, or did he think she was just going through, you know what I'm saying? A life, you know, a Britney Spears moment. Maybe the bitch just went crazy and shaved her head. Or did he actually have the inside information and know that she going through that? See, that I wasn't even like, Chris Rock. It I wasn't even Chris Jada Rock Pinkett, joke. I think Jada came out and said they wrote that it. Shit. Yeah, they wrote that joke, so they already knew it. The Hoodie they Academy. Wrote that joke for the nigga. Yeah, so the he so, wrote the joke so Will did, some white so, lady. And, so then Will knew that then and Will did that shit. That was that was a representation. That wasn't even for Chris Rock. That was for the Academy. That's for the academies, yo, bro. I represented my <laughs> wife. Don't talk about my wife. Keep my wife name out your mouth. And that's what he's talking about. Like, nigga, I did this for my family. And this is why I say at the end of the day, that woman, regardless of what she does to this nigga, bro, she probably can shoot that nigga. She probably can tell on him he's always gonna love this woman because she got him through them times when Will Smith was suicidal and ready to kill himself and ready to give everything up, bro. They just tore two black men's relationship apart to to boost they to boost their ratings my nigga that's what they that's did exactly what they did that's exactly what they did 
Yeah, yeah, we can we can definitely look at it like that though. If they wrote if they but wrote that shit in there. That's what I was saying before though. Like they, but man, that just I mean, man, I don't, I mean, shh, man, that, <laughs> at because the same time, understand. like you about to you about to take a major negative on your money though. You know what I'm saying for going up there and slapping that nigga, yo. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Was it worth it? What are we talking about? Really fresh bad. Prince, nigga. The, it's the Fresh the, Prince. He like, Man, yo, look, bro, all I that got shit everything can get I want, took bro. From that. That's, that's the white people shit, nigga. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. Fresh Prince, in the, all his fucking movies, that's yes, owned by yes. the white folks, nigga. Nigga, that's the white folks shit. They can shut this shit down right now. They can shut this shit down right now. Paul Mooney used to say that shit all the Turn time. Off mm-hmm. <laughs> Turn off this internet. Turn the internet off right video. now. I don't want so long. Long. Only nigga, Don't give me only too much praise. The right white folks are coming to take me. <laughs> only so one nigga long. right now that owns all his publishing, all that, and that's Tyler Perry. You would not take nothing from that black man. If it ain't Tyler yeah. Perry, every, all these other niggas, he they, them, they all under the white man umbrella. They all they under that, that white man They umbrella. took that nigga manhood, nigga. So whatever else he got, nigga, is it really worth it? Is he it really worth it? Sacrifice though, yeah. He, he definitely put that dress on and made himself a whole bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like world. For Objectively sure. speaking, that's all I'm saying. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. You know what I'm saying? I fuck no, with Tyler Perry right, and what he right. do. He got that's his thing fact, going. Bro. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, though, all of that being said, all that shit he got, did he put that dress on and and and, 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 and act and, and act better, act better as a fucking grandmother than he do a fucking action hero. Cause that nigga played nigga Alex Cross or whatever the fuck that shit was. Yeah, he did. Like, he did. Oh, yeah, in the he bitch. Did. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Medea, yeah. funny than the motherfucker. I love Medea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that shit started yeah, out funny. plays for church. Those were plays for church that he started out with skits for church. Yep. Not even plays. Yeah. It was skits for church. Bootleg DVDs, yeah. nigga. Skits and shit. Yeah. I think it started out with skits. Bootleg. Hey, I fuck with y'all, out, bro. Y'all got good All energy right. up on so here, bro. So we on the movies. What's up with the Batman shit? How you feel about that, man? Before I get go, what's up with the Batman? Uh, what's man, up, so, man? How you so feel? Spoiler alert! That, spoiler man? alert for anybody that's watching. We finna get into this Batman shit. If you ain't seen it <laughs> and you watched up to this point, <laughs> I got your view credit, so you can cut it off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And come back to it later. Right. But yeah, <laughs> Batman. Um, I didn't like it. I'm gonna keep it 100. I've been holding my opinion on this shit until it got on this podcast, and I don't like that shit. I feel like the shit was trash. Uh, we didn't see Batman when Batman, if it's beginning stages, because I was talking to my nigga Wayne, he's a true Batman fan that I know of, you know what I'm saying? And um, he was like, oh yeah, it's beginning stages of shit, but nigga, when Batman put that fucking suit on, you was highly fucking trained by Ra's al Ghul, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Highly fucking trained, nigga. Like, no man could touch you type training, nigga. I'm talking seven niggas could try to jump you, and you would fuck all the niggas up, nigga. Just like mm-hmm. when I be playing a fucking video game. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That's how, exactly how Batman should be. And every fucking fight scene in this new one, this nigga got his jaw cracked, my nigga. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, niggas shit. niggas was getting one in on this nigga, but, my nigga. Like, I'm how gonna the tell fuck you. Is he? And then this nigga got his fucking, he got dragged by his cape, my nigga. What Batman the? always get his ass whooped, nigga. Yeah. Always get his ass whooped. But listen, but yo, I'm going to tell you something because to. you know why, who trained this Batman? This is the metaverse Batman, Alfred. You don't remember in the when he was in the bed, he said, yo, why you didn't tell me? He said, why you didn't tell me my dad was who this is? He said, because I wanted you to be a man. I trained you how to fight. I trained you how to do certain things, but I couldn't alternate. train. Exactly. So now, this uh... is not the Batman that we're used to. This is a whole this is we could have been that Batman. Fuck you, mean nigga. I could. Where you find this nigga, man? Where you find this nigga, man? This nigga, man? This nigga got real, this. Man. This nigga got this man. shit. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. I could have been that Batman. The bat. I told this nigga early. The bat fucking mobile. That shit was trash. trash. That shit was trash. I know niggas in the hood with cars better than that. Facts. Niggas talking about right now, niggas, facts, nigga. I'd rather, I'd rather, nigga, go get me in a hell. I put me in a hell cat, nigga. That hell cat to eat that bad mobile up, nigga. What's the bat, what's the bat, bat man? Nigga. Uh, shit on you. We seen yeah, one bat. We seen one gadget, and that's when 
the cops was going for that nigga and he jumped off the fucking the the thing with the shit that made him fly. We seen one oh, get yeah. from Batman. Yeah. Oh, oh one of the guys. Was out, nothing but a fucking wingsuit. We seen That's that. What, this is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> we didn't see no fuck no. The gadget is when he was running from the cops and he shot the shit in the air, the gun, and it hooked up there and he's you know oh, yeah, shooting up in it. Yeah. That's the one gadget we seen from yeah. the Batman, bro. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he took the little shit, the little he used this little shit as a battery. He took it off his yeah, chest yeah. shit. Oh yeah. yeah, took that shit off his chest. Like we didn't see too many get see, gotta understand, Batman, like I try, like to tell people, Batman is like Iron Man. These niggas is really humans, but they have a lot of money and they invest these fucking money into their gadgets. We come to see the gadgets, motherfucker. Yeah. Like yeah. we right. wanna see this shit, nigga. Like, don't yeah. make this shit some love shit where Eddie, it, like this shit, I yeah. couldn't get Twilight out my head. It just yeah, made me think of facts. Twilight. Damn, so, facts. Because you was in Twilight and you was in love and shit. And then they got this nigga in a bat suit, kissing on in Catwoman love. and shit. Like, come on, it just, it's not a good connection for Batman, yo. At least they had been, a left they, they should have had another actor. Get the they've been inside. working towards that. They've been working towards that nigga ever since the nigga brought the bitch coffee on the roof or whatever that time. Nigga. Said, this nigga's crazy, bro. What was that, bro, the killing that joke crazy. or some shit? Uh, that, was, right. uh, that was, uh, I think, Bad Blood. Something happened again, and somebody brought somebody coffee on the roof, my nigga type shit. Yeah, and they fucked on the roof. That was bad it's, blood. I it's think. just like it's like they've been working toward the romance. They so in this both. movie, they introduce us to Robin, who's probably gonna be in the next movie, uh, and the Joker, because the Joker's at the end with the Riddler. They they yeah. playing around in the cell together. So now the Joker's probably gonna be the next movie. It's gonna be crazy how they end up getting out of jail. Like I would, that's something I would want to see. Now you're gonna have to bring a Joker in, which is gonna make Batman be more vicious. This 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 Riddler <laughs> nigga was I like I didn't really like the Riddler neither. Yeah, nah, I don't like the hey, way they did. Jim Carrey was crazy, bro. Yes, the best, crazy. the best, the best, the best. Yeah, Jim Carrey was the best. a good Riddler. But the everybody best, else in that movie was fucking trash, though. We yes. talk about Batman Forever. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like Two-Face? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, man, come on. Nah, Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't in that shit. Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't in that one. Yes, he was. He was the Iceman. He was Iceman. Not in, that's, there, that's the third one. That's Sub-Zero. That's, that's, that's not the one with Riddler. That's not the one with Riddler and Two-Face. And I and, and then Ivy was the one with with Fortune. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sw yeah, Poison Ivy. Uh, so which like one is Iron Iron with Riddler and Two Face? Batman. Man. That's Batman Forever, man. That's the Batman good one, Forever. Man. That's yeah, what that's great. What is that what's it Grayson's or whatever the fuck with the families yeah. and they flying and they dying and shit? Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. And you that's know? when Robin. Yeah, they got Rob Batgirl. They got uh the so Alicia which one Silverstone. Is one with Alicia Silverstone is Batgirl. Played as Mr. Freeze. Sub -Zero. That's the shit with Sub Zero. The shit with Poison Ivy. It's Poison called Ivy Sub Zero. The, um, Let's see. what's the dude name? What's the dude name, man? He was famous as shit that played Batman in that one, man. Michael what's Keaton? the dude name, man? Mike? Nah, not not oh, Michael. Val Keaton, Kilmer. Nah. Val Kilmer was yeah. He played in Poison Ivy one. That's when she was you know blowing all the kisses at him. She had that that magic potion shit. Poison Ivy. Was oh, it was, oh, okay. It was Batman and Robin. Yeah. Yeah, that that was was I don't watch Batman that bullshit. That one was trash. I, I watched it. I watched it, but I didn't watch that bullshit. That shit got yeah, but the shit with the red lug. Oh, yeah, that, that was the one, bro. I watched that shit right, right now. Though. They ripped the, red the red board out face. the wall. You feel me? I think that motherfucker was filling up with acid and shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit was raw, bro. I fucked so, with that So, um, who else was it? Wasn't it another villain? It was Riddler, Two Face? That was it. That was only them two. Yeah, in that one. Because they were saying that Two Face had killed Robin family and like some had some no no some they didn't hit somebody set it up something to somebody do with it. It they, all like fell. Fell. they all yeah, fell they all yeah. fell yeah 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 i remember that shit yeah that's a fact but yeah that was a good batman that was a good bat well you know another good batman was uh what's it uh when Boy, who we had motherfucking what's the nigga name man danny who played DeVito. the joker danny devito danny as DeVito. penguin as danny penguin. devito as penguin I but who was the joker batman though returns but who was but who was the Joker though? Who who played the Joker in that movie? That was fire. I think Jack no. Nicholson was still the Joker, wasn't he? Jack Nicholson was Jack in that. Nicholson. Nah. No, no. When Jack Nicholson played the Joker, 
that was that was the uh, that was the original yeah. one. That was the, <laughs> that was the original, original one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you had you had Danny DeVito and Catwoman. That was Catwoman and Penguin. That's what hey, was, that, was that Tim Burton? Tim Burton film that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> was the director? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh shit. That's fucking crazy. But yeah, they yeah, like yeah, this Jack Batman. <laughs> This, yeah, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, this Batman could have this Batman could have been way better. I like and niggas anticipated this shit. And that shit was three hours long. For a build up? For a fucking for a, a origin story type shit. I liked it. That's what I told Khan. I like the way they said how he, his father was a bad guy really and paid somebody to get. I like that little twist that they threw in there. Cause it's Arkham. Yeah. This is the Arkham Batman. This is like the dark. Like this is. All right, I, I see that. Like you know, it's politics. It's fucked up politics. Politicians and shit like that. His wife. What they say. His wife was getting abused and shit like that. So he did this so they can cover it up. And he had this nigga killed. And shit was crazy. Right. Shit was crazy. That that little shit right there. That right there made it to me. I'm like, all right, bet. That's that's all right. But everything so, else I didn't like about Batman. I didn't like that. So the story, story. the story made up for the for the lack of action type shit. The lack of the, the no, magic. just that one part doesn't. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I get that shit. I get that shit. I get that shit. Uh, Two point five three stars. That ass. I would Damn. give it two point five three stars. I tried to bootleg it. They ain't got it like that no more. They like only got a bootleg. Yeah. They it, so. I would. I would get that shit two point five three star. Really start for that movie, no line because anybody could have been too. Batman. <laughs> yeah, I could have been Batman instead of the human model. This wasn't, yeah, this wasn't like no Batman. This wasn't <laughs> no Batman you ever seen before. Like I fuck with the Batman when he really wasn't even Batman yet. What was it? Um, what Batman was that when he actually uh, had to go out there and learn to fight, and then he came back and the Dark Knight Rises. Dark, no, it wasn't Dark Knight. It was the Dark Knight, wasn't it? The regular Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. The Dark yeah, Knight. The first was the one. one the that's Dark the first Knight one. When he was climbing that mountain, when he was learning that fight. That's that's no, right. no, not he the was, shit with the Joker. The shit before Joker. The shit before Joker is the, when he Scarecrow. actually. Be- no, I no, Scarecrow and Joker was together. Scarecrow and Joker was together. And and Batman Begins. What was it Batman, no, Batman Begins? Which one was it when yeah. he went and learned to fight? He went out to China or somewhere, went somewhere crazy and learned to fight. Oh, down in that hole. Ra's al Ghul was training him? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah when he was training him. All right, yeah. so he wasn't, he wasn't really Batman, he was just becoming Batman. Now listen, yeah. now that movie right there, right? If you go and say, damn, you gotta be a Batman fan to even know what the fuck was going on because he's becoming to be Batman. Yeah. Bad. Was. Ten times better than the new Batman that just came out. Uh, on some G shit. Yeah, facts. That's facts. Yeah. Talk oh, their heads down. Easy. And you gotta understand. Now I'm talking about a movie when a nigga's training to be. He's not even Batman yet. <laughs> yeah. And I say this fact. is ten times better than when the nigga's already Batman. Come on that's now. Fact. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that shit, man. No, I thought that shit was trash. Um, yeah, I didn't fuck with it. Um, if it's in a different universe, I don't know if I want to follow that. I don't even know if I want to see another movie pertaining that same universe with that Batman. I mean, I'm good. I don't like. I don't even like Jared Leto as fucking Joker. I think that shit is a horrible pick. I don't know. If that's some yeah. That, that, that shit was crazy. Shit. Yeah, Joker ain't into no bling bling for the teeth and tattoos and all that. Nah, man, that's not. I, I like the one where the baby was so where the baby <coughs> was so ugly. They threw that motherfucker in the motherfucking gutter and they floated underneath and became the motherfucking penguin. Yeah, <laughs> word. Yeah, yeah, that's the penguin. That's from Batman Returns, right? That's from Batman Returns. If that I'm not wrong, yeah. Was an ugly fucking baby. And that's when, yeah, that's when, that's when he, that's when Catwoman was, uh, who was that, man? Holly Berry, right? Hell nah, I mean, hell nah. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle, Michelle Pfeiffer, yeah. Michelle, Michelle Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer, yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer, yeah. That Michelle her, Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer, yeah, that was fire. After, after the boss set her up and shit. Yeah, she was going crazy, though. She, she, I ain't yeah. gonna front. That was a good Catwoman. She, she yeah, went crazy, man. And she was sexy as fuck. Yeah, she that bitch was, was sexy was, as hell. Yeah, she was, <laughs> motherfucker. She was, 
Sexy white So, um, let me put this, let me switch this real quick. Let me put it to my, uh, what's it called? Change my <coughs> mic up, so I'll put it on my ear <coughs> Y'all can still hear me, right? Mm -hmm. like shit now, though. Yeah, so. <coughs> it's like go ahead, I got about 20. Go ahead, I got about 20 more minutes. Let's go. All right, so there's, uh, Sacramento shooting. Some big ass shooting out here. It's gonna happen downtown. Um, a lot of people, it was just random and shit. Uh, some random shit went down. Some, uh, they said it was two shooters. Um, came downtown and shot to the front of the bar up, but it lasted. When I first seen it on the news, they said it lasted about eight through eight blocks, and it was bodies spread through a series of eight blocks downtown, like K Street and all that downtown out here. Uh, like 18 people were shot, um, and like six people died and shit. It's the first time I ever seen some shit like that go down in uh, Sacramento. I've been out here like you feel me, what since what 2001, so about 20 years. So you know I mean, it's the first time I've seen some shit like that, just like on some random shoot. Like you see that shit, you know what I mean, on the news, shit in these other states and shit. You know what I mean? But I ain't never been in the same city where a motherfucker just was randomly. It seemed random, you know what I'm saying? By by the people that got shot and shit. It was three dudes. And uh, three women. Um, yeah, and then Sacramento been kind of on this ever since then. Happy Sunday night. You know what I'm saying a lot of people been spooked. A lot of people been, you know what I mean? It's been getting people down and shit. A lot of people knew some people that got shot um, that, that didn't make it. You know what I mean? It was some fucked up shit. And the news tried to motherfucking blame it on some gang shit. I don't think it was no gang shit. Um, gang shit don't really go down like with just some random ass six fucking people and letting off random ass shots. If it was gang shit, it would have been concentrated targets, concentrated individuals. Now, if motherfuckers next to them would have got hit, and motherfuckers next to them would have got hit. But it wouldn't have been through eight blocks, you feel me? And it wouldn't have been just, you know, definitely wasn't no gang shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you heard about that shit, Nate? Yeah, that social media had this shit all fucked up, nigga. So, like, they, like, when the shit first happened, nigga, they had, like, this picture going around, and everybody sharing this shit, right? And there was one female on this picture. So, you feel me? There were six people, but there's only one. So, that means that there's five, just five dudes on there. Yeah. I'm like, what the? But it ended up yeah. being three, three men, three women that got killed. So, but they circulating this picture, bro. People are going around, bro. It's not even, like, you feel me, correct information. It's like, what the fuck? Like, social media, social media trying to solve this shit. And they fight, you know what I'm saying? They fuck, they getting shit fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit going on. Like, this shit was trending on fucking Twitter, bro. The nigga's name. No, the they, nigga who they locked up was trending on Twitter. Where, oh, they did catch a nigga? Yeah, nigga, it's three people. I think it's three people locked up right now. Like, I don't, don't call me on that shit because I ain't been paying attention no more. I thought I heard something about they caught two dudes or something. But brother, it was early in the morning. I was brother. half sad sleep and shit. Yeah, oh, that's brother. right. I did see that. Martins or something like that. Yeah. Some shit. Something yeah, like that, sure. yeah. And right. didn't, wasn't uh, the brother of that nigga, um, Stephen Clark or something, got hit too or something? Nah, that nigga was out there with the lady. He was, he was with yeah. the lady. Was, yeah, I seen that he was. Yes, he was. Okay. So he was just being like supportive down there? Or he didn't act like, like, like that? He was like an activist. He, was doing, oh, okay. he, he probably was like, he probably, I'm sure he knew somebody or, you know, because, you know, niggas know that yeah. nigga around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga Killer said he knew, uh, he knew, uh, he knew the nigga Sergio and um, the other dude, the other black dude they saw with the locks and shit. I can't remember the dude's name. Oh, my condolences to all the and shit, you know. Yeah, it's it's real, real man. You know what I'm saying? Sad wow. shit. Wow. Yeah. Like I said, I ain't never seen nothing like that since I've been living here. I done seen killings and shootings and been, you know, 
but um, yeah, I ain't never heard of nothing like that. You know, I mean, <clears throat> they describe it as like a math student like that. Like, I mean, I know it makes sense because it is like that's the, that's like the correct term for it. But like, just the way that shit is like worded in the news like that. Like when you hear that, you like you, you think of like you know what I'm saying, school shooting, like you know what I'm saying, yeah, Walmart, yeah. you know, shout out the movies. Not like the type of thing that like from what I'm hearing, like type went down. It sounds like you know what I'm saying two groups got into it or some shit like that happened, and you feel me, shit happened. I don't know, but that's what. Yeah. Down here, you feel me? So at the end of the day, it's crazy because it's like that mass shooting shit. When they say that, it's like they they like kind of like low key jazzed it up. I mean, it's fucked up, but they kind of low key jazzed it up. Like it was like something like like a terrorist type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it's really yeah. when it's really some niggas just out here, nigga, like irresponsible as fuck with these guns, nigga. That they, you know what I'm saying? Couldn't right. wait to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Playing, playing with life, bro. Playing. Yeah. Playing, playing, and you don't come playing back too bro. much. Man. That's like, it. It ain't, and that's not even playing. There's no plan. I don't even know what Thanks. the fuck is going on. Like, I don't understand. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand when you gotta, you feel me, do things you to survive. But what, like, when you doing shit, just you feel me, just to be doing shit, I don't get it. Yeah, but I, you I don't know. get that shit either. My shit is, shit is sad shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit wild. Um, yeah, speaking of plan, uh, you know what I'm saying? Seen the, you seen the video with the little girl and her brother and shit in the bathroom? No, I don't, no. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Saw the little girl in the bathroom. She got the thing. Nigga with the monkey balls on it. You feel me? Got the little Glock with the, with the drum. You know what I mean? She playing with it and shit. And she, like, put it... I guess it's her brother. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's another little kid in the bathroom where... Her. Put the gun to his head and then it go off. Wow. He dropped. She freak out. Oh my god, drop the gun, nigga. And she get on the ground, take the gun, pop herself, nigga. And then the, the family, it, it sound like it's hella people at the house. So all you hear is woo woo, what happened? What happened? And you hear somebody say, Don't don't get your guns, woo woo woo, don't shoot. Cause you know, they don't know what's going on. You feel me? Outside the door, though, because the camera's in the bathroom and they fucking around. But they in there dead now, and they you can see the family trying to push the door open, my nigga, but they bodies is in the way type shit. My nigga, they peek in and then just freak out, go out. Like, three different people peek in at them and freak out, my nigga. Like, it's wild, my nigga. All while they on live, my nigga. So, yeah, playing with, playing with your life and guns, that shit is... Uh, right. Retarded flexing for Instagram with your hammer and pointing it off. That shit is retarded, right? Stupid shit. And they young too. They look like they about man, 13, 14 or something. Shit wild, man. Shit wild, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't really feeling. I ain't really got too many. That's what it's fucked up. Yeah, that's um, it's, it's, it's I don't, even, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what the fuck going. On. I don't even know what even, like how is that even like a situation that could even take place. Man, you know what I'm saying? For real. But, but I mean, you see, you see what it's about. You know, you look around, you see what it's about. Man, yeah, that shit wild. That shit wild. Um, I don't know, Brian. No, I had we had some music. Um. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Ben, I think he had to go to work and shit. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? He brought up a uh, topic, dopest uh, rappers out right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think I would definitely give that um, to Griselda. Uh, I would definitely give that to Vino, uh, Benny the Butcher, Conway the Machine, West Side Gun, hands down. Um, I think they definitely are the dopest rappers to me. Um, as far as mainstream that everybody kind of done heard of that's out, yeah, definitely. I definitely give it to Griselda for sure. All them niggas in Griselda. I mean, they whole fucking roster. That's real hip hop shit. You know what I'm saying? All of them. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. They got some fire ass niggas like mixtape album name, my nigga, and shit. Nigga with niggas wearing Hermes and Hitlers and nigga, you feel me? Versace's and all type of crazy shit going on with the albums. Like yeah, that yeah. shit fire, but you feel me? The only one that I really like, you know, really fucked with is like Benny. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, 
And then and I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, but it seemed like, I don't know. Like, nigga, when I, on that interview, the interview was, it seemed like the interview was set up to make shit look one way. You know what I'm saying? What interview? And with, uh, with the one dude. What's the one dude? What's the other dude face? The, the face dude. Conway. Yeah, that nigga, he had an interview, like, on Vlad or something? Um, yeah. Recently? Yeah, a couple of them. He had one recently, yeah. 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 And it's like, when he was talking about how, like, this could be his last album, like, over there type shit. Yeah, it is. They fulfilled that's their a, that's, what I'm saying. that's what I'm saying. And then, like, and, but, like, I don't know, just, like, the questions and the answers just seem like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I was reading too much into it. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> but it's just, like, something? nah, like, <clears throat> niggas was, like, like, Trying to like start some shit, like you feel me between between motherfuckers, like type shit. I don't know. Oh, with what he said about his label and shit. With yeah, and like, shit. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know he wasn't even on that type of time. Yeah, like, I know exactly you know, what you're talking about. Yeah. How it could be in, you interpreted, you know, like yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know. It just he like, went back you know. on Vlad and cleared that shit up though. For sure, he did. Yeah, they went flashback to that and all that. Right, yeah. Cause like yeah. you know what I'm saying, it could just be you know, like yeah. it, it looked like motherfucker, like 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 it's some type of like beef. You feel me? Right. Quietly right. though, like respectfully though, you know what I'm saying. Like niggas ain't trying to, but he like you know, you know how niggas get when they you know, yeah, you know, I don't know, you know, but then, you know, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think it is for real though. I don't think, uh, but you know, they definitely trying to push that narrative. Um, maybe it could be a slight disagreement, but it ain't beef. Maybe the people is mean, reading into it and feeling that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But from his perspective, you know, I Eminem don't really speak, but from Conway's perspective, it seemed like it ain't no funk at all. Like, you know, he'd be big up in Eminem every time he, every time that shit come up. I ain't nigga Rockefeller broke up, so. <laughs> That's a fact. They definitely did. It just uh, so did um, you feel me? Joe Budden's podcast, Mal and Rory, them niggas. Yeah, that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that shit. That shit right there was, you know, even though like you know niggas seen it coming just because like all the bullshit that was leading up to it. You know what I'm saying? If you was paying attention, but yeah. it's like damn, like y'all, I you can't believe that motherfucker. I mean, it had to be like it has to be motherfucker. Had gotta feel some type of way. Gotta feel disrespected. My nigga, to break something like that up. That was some real yeah. shit going on over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's they had, a fact. They had some shit. So to they like, definitely did. you know, unless it was yeah. all, you know, set up like that, to be like that, you know? I think Joe really I'm got I'm not on. saying it was. I'm, yeah, I'm not saying it was. I'm just saying like, you know. Yeah. Speaking of that, did you, have you been hearing, well, now I'm going to say this though. I think Joe really got on though. No, he, um, I think that money came and he, you know, he wanted his pockets too fat. You know? Joe Budden. He, he, he didn't want to break no bread. I think that's what it was at the end of the day. And he brought on some niggas who don't mind taking that, you know, 10% and he getting 80. And now they tired of getting that and they want... I don't, yeah. I don't think it was about that. I, I think, think somebody... I, th I feel like somebody thought it was about that. And somebody else, you feel me, never really thought about that. But then it became probably about that because of motherfuckers thinking it was about that. If you can read between the lines of what I'm saying, you know, if yeah. you understand. And, like, you know, that that's how shit goes sometimes, you know. Like, it won't be a problem, but, like, you feel like it's a problem. So, now you made it a problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now, yeah. and but then you don't respect me when I come to you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You don't respect my, because you, you, you already formed your opinion. So, you're not respecting what I'm saying. I don't know. You know how this shit go, man. Shit gets sticky, man. But when yeah. you're friends, man, you're supposed to be able to work it out, my nigga. And you feel me? Like you feel me? Like That's a fact. if you if you gotta break if you gotta break, you know what I'm saying, bread and go your separate ways, you gotta do that. You feel me? If you gotta fall back, 
You feel me? But if you're really a friend or a motherfucker, if you really fuck with somebody, like, I ain't gonna come and talk at you because I'm gonna come, come talk to you. Like, nigga, I'm not gonna come talk at you because when I talk at you, you ain't gonna receive the message that I'm trying to tell you. I'm not gonna tell you nothing now that, you know what I'm saying, hating on you or nothing. I'm gonna come take it. I love you, nigga. Like, damn, nigga, you fucking up. You got your shit out in the street, nigga. You need to clean it up. I'm not gonna tell you, nigga. Everybody else, you feel me? Like, damn, this nigga kind nigga, on some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you, nigga. Yeah. So then, but it's about how you deliver that to a motherfucker because everybody can't, you know what I'm saying? Take it, you know what I'm saying? Don't, but but don't sugarcoat nothing, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, right. If you fuck with me, if you love me, nigga, tell me. Shit gonna hurt sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. you know, they broke That's up the empire. Fact. But like I said, nigga, Rockefeller broke up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Kanye the, viewers, West, the crowd, the audience is who really pay for it at the end of the day. Yeah, and, and, and because yeah. they 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 built what they built in front of the audience and built the audience building what they built. So that's you know crazy. You said at that. the end of the day, the viewers we the ones suffering. You know what I'm saying? It, I ain't watched the Joe Button podcast since Mallory yeah, it's, left. Yeah. It's crazy that you yeah. said that because nigga, I was just thinking about this like oh, in the last two weeks. I said the same like. We're the ones who miss out on so much. Like all these Man. bullshit, all the bullshit that happened, we we Man. all miss out on that shit, bro. Facts. You know what I'm that's that's facts, my nigga. Yeah, tax stone, nigga sitting, nigga locked up because of some bullshit, nigga. Man, Damn, nigga, that's just like motherfucking man, like King Iso and Twisted Insane. I I'm gonna constantly bring up this shit, man, because these these are two niggas I really fucking like their music. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking every fucking album is all slappers to me. You know I can't say that shit about too many fucking artists, if any else. You know what I mean? So. So, and then these two niggas, they was cool. And then I, I don't even know what fully happened. All I know is that ISO was signed with Brain Sick, which is Twisted Saints label. And then he moved on and signed with Tech. You feel me? Tech Nine, you know what I'm saying? With Strange Music. So after that, they kind of was, they was kind of, I guess they was kind of funking before that. And then they, I guess they was funking a little bit after that. Made a little, little secret jabs, subtle jabs and shit and songs and shit. But yo, these two niggas on the same track is amazing to me, my nigga. That shit is so dope. They got a song called Ken and Ryu's Massacre or Ken and Ryu's Revenge. It's one or the other, but it's twisted insane and King Iso. I, I think Man, I, you played I think I think you probably played this for nigga before. I think yo, I, go ahead. I, I bet I have, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. yo, that shit is <clears throat> The dopest shit is just high speed. They both at that high speed rap, and that shit sounds so dope with both of these niggas on the track. And then they just been funking, and they ain't made Kai's podcast. Together, you know what I'm saying? They both putting out fire albums. So, King so who's selfish? Put out a fire album. Right Twisted here. put out a fire album also a couple months ago. Who what? Who's more? Who's more selfish? You or them? You for wanting them to, 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 you know what I'm saying, nigga, get over whatever they got to get over, or them, nigga, for having to get over that shit, nigga, and not making the art that they was doing before. Because it's fucked I up. I think it's, I think You're it's a selfish them. bastard. Nah, it's you, nigga. Nah, I think it's selfish, nigga. Because they the life. End, at the end of the day, though, but we talk, I, we're not talking about their life. I'm a fan of the music. The so, fans are fans of the music. So but they the live the life. Day, that's what... Right, but they're making music uh -huh, nigga, for the fans, hold on. though. They so, wouldn't no, even... No, they're making music for themselves at first. But they wouldn't... If a fan didn't like their music, they wouldn't be who the fuck they are. That was you your life saying? choice, your life decision to become a fan, man. Man, so it's, now, it's so now, my ears. Yeah, so sure. now, so now, because this nigga been back though scheming, taking, you feel me, taking a little off the top, and I found out, and that's just some shit I can't get over. I ain't fucking with bro no more. I ain't making shit hey, with him no more. Like so I you said, want me to go and get, you feel me? My bad. I don't even mean to say use that term, because that's a bad term to use. That. Like I, I said, man, I'm you, off. So that's what you... A feeding, they feeding us, you know, but I just feel like... You selfish. The music should be, you know what I'm saying, what the fans at least should want. Like, you know so I gotta, so I gotta, I gotta put my pride to the side to make good music for you, so I can continue <laughs> to get my checks right. I just hey, did man. it again. Fuck. <laughs> I ain't saying you, you selfish. Me, you know You're me, more buddy. selfish. That's selfish, bro. 
That's selfish. Hey, I guess I'm a selfish fan then. You know what I mean? All right, well, yeah. let's get it, man. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'll be that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like what I like when it comes to music, and I want to hear what I want to hear. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you know? Hey, like, uh, I wish they could put, I, ain't, I ain't saying, you know what I'm saying? They should put their pride aside and, you know, make settle beside their differences and make the music. Like, if they funkin', they funkin', you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just a, I'm just a nigga that's <laughs> a fan of their music together, you nah, know what I'm saying? Nah, I, just, I would I hope they could squash some type of beef, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and make some dope, more, some more dope music, you know what I'm saying? But now, if they funkin', they funkin', you know what I'm that's, that's, that's between two grown-ass fucking men. They ain't got shit to do with me at the end of the day. They do got something to do with you, though, nigga, because you want the music. So, I mean, I suggest what you do is reach out to both of these gentlemen, had them come on the pod, had them come on the pod and squash the beef on the pod, nigga, and get that album, nigga. It will be dope. And and if you did it right now, like we just talked about, nigga, today, you know, (laughs) but you ain't, see what I'm saying, nigga's alive. Let, hey, I'm, live. Gonna put, I'm gonna put yeah, this shit in they both their inbox for real. And King Isles inbox and Twist in the same inbox. I'm gonna I'm put no, it in I'm both no Kanye, shit. nigga. And I hope they watch it up until this point that we talked about this shit. That's a fact. I'm the new yeah. Kanye, man. Listen to what I'm saying, man. I'm trying to put this shit together, man, and be innovative. <laughs> All right. I thought about that shit before too. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, it ain't going. It ain't going. That shit. Ain't gonna he just doubted it live on the. Oh, you just doubt it's live on Yeah, <laughs> it's not. These niggas is real life funkin', man. You gotta edit that I don't out. know. I, well, they ain't shot at that. They ain't shot. They ain't shot at each other. Out there. You know what I'm saying? They ain't shot yeah. at each other. Nah, they haven't. You know what I'm saying? But I put the branch out there for sure. I slide it in both their inbox. Yeah. Don't slide in the inbox. I'll slide this episode in both of their inboxes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> just edit this part and put that in here. Mm. <laughs> Nigga, I got this Word. clip. I got this clip. I'm gonna send you, boy. Oh man, you gotta hear this shit, boy. Wait till you hear Word. this. <laughs> this shit, wow. Word. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? I saw um, episode 72. You know what I mean? It was rocky. Um, it was cool. Rocky. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My nigga Brim, we lost my nigga Brim. He had to go to work. You know what I mean? Um, nah, that shit was fire. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was fire. Y'all niggas yeah. are going crazy today. I appreciate you. Yeah, this was definitely a dope episode. I definitely fuck with it. Definitely good conversation. I hope y'all enjoyed the shit too. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I mean? Stay tuned for 73. I'm not sure what it's gonna be about. Um, but yeah, 73 is definitely coming. Um, I hope y'all fucked with this uh, episode 72. My nigga Nate, my nigga Brim. Pretty much I'll be edit the fuck out of this. <laughs> I touched on these headlines. But yeah, fuck with it though. You know what I mean? Kind of motherfucking podcast, episode 72. Fuck with it. Share this shit. You know, hit the like button. Comment. Hit the like button and share, I got man. that kind of shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all share all the memes shit. and shit, man. Yeah, that shit Put go a long shit, way. Man. You know Damn, man. It's just a simple yeah. like, man. Damn. That's it. You know? Just a simple hit the share button and put it to wherever you want, you know? I don't, yeah. even, want you, I don't even want you to like my like it, my nigga shit. I don't even want you to like my shit. Yeah, man, go like, go like my nigga shit too. Yeah, that's why. Like nah, I don't like my what's, shit. Don't like my shit. the Facebook page? Say that shit. What's the Facebook nah. page? It's, it, all my shit is that's why brother left. All you gotta do is type that in right there. They get to be on there. They'll see it, and yeah. then you'll get right in there. Everything you need to get in, but it's not you know. You feel me? Yeah, my nigga be streaming and all that shit. Fuck with my niggas, man. Facts. Follow the nigga on Twitch and all that. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, good streams. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it last. It last convo. It last convo. Nah, you know what I'm saying? All that. Crazy. Wait till man. you see this clip. Wait till you see Facts. this clip. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on this shit. Man, this fact. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm putting it on here, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, wait till you see this. On, like, put it on while the credits is rolling. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta chop it. I gotta chop it. You can cut this extra shit out. I gotta chop it though. That'd be cool. So good. I'm keeping all this. I ain't ended it. I ain't ended yet. All yeah, this my shit. Bad. This is your shit. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Start getting relaxed. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hell yeah, but follow my nigga, man. You feel me? Follow my page. I just got my little page up too. You know what I'm saying? Kind's um, podcast, you know what I mean? On um, Facebook. That's where I'm going to be posting all my episodes, you know what I'm saying? Classic episodes, episodes that have hit over 100 and all that kind of, all that shit, you know? So, um, yeah, when merch come, I'll probably be putting it on there, selling it through that and all that. Uh, but yeah, 72, you know, Kinds Podcast, man, right? stay tuned. Yo, your nigga got big things fucking planned, you feel me? Yeah, definitely, you know, y'all see the smile on my face when I say that, you feel me? <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm about to do big things, you feel me? You gonna see me on these big screens real fucking soon, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just stay fucking tuned. I mean, but yeah, uh-huh. man, it's 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 Bars, nigga! Wow. <laughs> <laughs>